Wayne Dyer, your erroneous zones, and that is not erogenous, okay? So we're not talking um, utilizing sensitivity techniques for intimacy, which he was often confused with. And you'll notice that's a hilarious picture. That's a bizarre cover, and it even says $2.50 there. That's how long ago I bought this book. And I'm going to start by saying that this was probably not the most profound book I ever read by Wayne Dyer, but I wanted to share this one because this was my starting point with Wayne Dyer. I bought this book, actually I did get it from a secondhand bookstore, and um, I read it and I took something away from this book that I think was profound, and that is that you are in control of your life, and the life that you have, the destiny you create, is as a result of the behaviors you habituate and the actions you consistently take and the choices that you make. And I remember reading it thinking, okay, I've got to be more in control of my life. And then I followed up his second book, which is Pulling Your Own Strings, which is again, your own thoughts and your own beliefs determine your behaviors and your actions. And it started a catalyst for, I think I have 13 of his books in my library and have easily read, um, or, or had audio books of another half a dozen on top of that and watched movies that he has. He's got the movie The Shift um, and incorporated so much of his principles on a daily practice in, in my life that I found it so profound, so valuable that while this book is not where I would suggest that you start with Wayne Dyer, I wanted to bring this on and say this is where I started and possibly not one of his best books. Well, it's definitely not one of his best books. It's probably a throwaway, except for the fact, find Wayne Dyer, read Wayne Dyer, it will change your life.